I studied method acting with Jeff Corey for about seven years. And then I studied Chekhov technique. One of my classmates referred me to a George Stanoff's classes. And you had to get a referral to get an audition with George to be a member of that group. And it was worth it. Now I mentioned once before that I learned more in that first 15 minute audition with George and just an aside, I think I'm the only person that ever got away with calling him George. We really seem to have connected. It had to be Mr. Stenoff. And you had to dress for class. One actress came in one day wearing jeans that were the ragged kind. Yeah, he sent her home. Uh, he felt respect was very important. But to get back to what we're talking about, What's the difference? Well, George was there at the Moscow Art Theater when Stanislavski and Michael Chekhov argued over primarily one area that differed between the two gentlemen. And that area was, how do we get to our emotions? Now, you may know that in method acting, they want you to go back to a point in your life where you had an experience similar to that of the character you're going to be playing. So if you needed to be terribly sad or terribly happy or whatever that emotion was, you went back to a point in your life where you experienced that and you relive it over and over again and exaggerate it until you can put the lines of the character with that movement and develop the emotional foundation for your character. That's all well and good, said Mr. Chekhov. What about people who lived a perfectly normal, happy lifetime? No extreme highs, no extreme lows. How do they play King Lear? Where do you go to get that depth of emotion? Chekhov's answer was this. We all have within us an endless depth, a well, if you will, of emotion. And triggered by the right situation, those emotions will come out. How do we get to them? Well, if you've ever noticed when you're sad, your posture will change. If you're happy, your posture will change. Michael believed that this was a two-way street, that if you changed your posture, the emotions would come out. So the psychological gesture was a way of getting there. And the exercises that we do for each body type help you get there. Now, what's a psychological gesture? All right. Like I said, let's say you're sad and you want to take on a very sad posture. They even exaggerate that posture until um, until you feel that sadness. And when you do, you begin to add your lines to it. And one of the most important things to remember is this. Humans are great at one thing. The humans that survived in history have one thing in common. Well, probably many things in common, but this. Those that can hide their emotions survived better. Humans are great at hiding their emotions. You know what looks fake? When you telegraph your emotions. <gasps> I'm so sad. If you're sad, and you've heard this before, the audience doesn't need to be. So we would do exercises in class and then work up those emotions like anger and more angry. And George would push you to be more angry and get more into that, fight, that feeling, that psychological gesture. And when you really got into it, he would say, now, do the line and I don't want to see that emotion. Don't show me. I love the way George would say that. So 
once you have that feeling, you need to have the feeling inside, but you need to hide it. So when you're really angry and you're just raging inside, don't show it. And deliver your line. And that's fundamentally the difference between Chekhov technique and method. Now, you can go out and wing it, walk into an audition, whether it's in high school or college or professional. You may not know exactly what you want to do. And you'll try and hide that. You know, the other thing that humans are very good at, seeing what emotions are being hidden. How many times have you told a friend, I feel fine, and they go, really, what's wrong? Nothing, I, I'm fine. Come on, what's, what's up? Even strangers see it. Don't go into an audition without the confidence of that character, without that character being alive. So in the Chekhov series, we're going to go over body types. Um, the things that method and uh, Chekhov technique have in common are most of that, the, the body types, the four body types, um, jewelry, um, qualities such as radiating, um, tempo, internal legato, external staccato, or vice versa, or any other number of things, center. When you build a character with Chekhov technique, you start out by picking a body type of your character doing the exercises for that body type. And then you'll begin to add the other things into it, a radiating quality, uh, internal tempo, external tempo, center. All of these are just magic when you put them on and put them to work. So even if you're not an actor, these exercises help a lot of people. I can't tell you how many acting classes and seminars I've been in where there were lawyers and businessmen, salespeople. They didn't intend on acting, but they wanted to be better at what they do. And these days, it could help you with that Zoom conference to put across the confidence you need in those conferences. So thanks for checking in. And I hope to see you in the next video. Hit the subscribe button there and like, and I'll see you in the next one. I hope this tip was helpful. Thanks.